Hello, my name is Ali. Welcome to Transition, where we help people unlock their future potential through simple, bite-sized videos. Before we move on, click the subscribe button below. Remember, whatever your questions, I've got your back. Are you considering Wellesley College as a potential school for you? Do you want to know what the school is looking for in terms of standardized testing? If so, you're in luck, because today we are starting a mini-series on Wellesley. Part one covers general information and what the school is looking for academically, while part two looks at supplemental essays. Wellesley College is a private, nonprofit women's liberal arts college in Wellesley, Massachusetts, 12 miles west of Boston. It's ranked the number five liberal arts college in the nation by US News and World Report. 2,383 students attend Wellesley on its scenic 500 acre campus. Beyond providing an excellent education, Wellesley is known for its gifted faculty and strong alumni network. It's sometimes called the most powerful women's network in the world. For over 150 years, Wellesley has provided ambitious young women with a hands-on education in the liberal arts, offering more than 50 majors and hundreds of funded internships all over the world. The school has a cross-registration program with MIT and is part of the 12 College Exchange Program allowing students to spend a semester at another college in the Northeast. Wellesley's eight to one student faculty ratio allows for class sizes of just 17 to 20 students. Small class sizes create a personalized learning experience and it's not uncommon for professors to take their students out to restaurants or invite them to their homes for a meal. Students say that professors truly value building relationships with their students. Wellesley students are actively involved in the college, serving on the board of trustees, participating in faculty searches, and contributing to strategic planning. The college's career advisors work with students throughout their lives. With all that the school has to offer, it's no surprise that Wellesley had a 13% acceptance rate for the 2021-2022 application cycle. This acceptance rate is only a touch higher than schools in the Ivy League, so it's a very competitive school. With that in mind, let's take a look at the GPA and standardized testing that will help you get into Wellesley College. College. Wellesley does not release official GPAs for admitted students, but 91% of admitted students are ranked in the top 10% of their graduating classes, and 99% are ranked in the top 20%. This means you'll likely need close to a 4.0 for your unweighted GPA. In terms of standardized testing, the school is test optional through 2024, meaning you aren't required to include SAT or ACT scores with your application. However, not submitting test scores may negatively impact your application. In the 2021-2022 application cycle, over half of applicants chose not to submit test scores, but only 40% of students admitted to the class of 2026 did not submit test scores. At a minimum, I recommend submitting test scores if they would land you in the top 50% of accepted students. That means above a 1490 on the SAT or a 34 on the ACT. However, if you're a junior or younger and still have time to study, I recommend aiming to be in the top 25% of students admitted to the school. That means at or above a 1550 on the SAT or a 35 on the ACT. To sum it all up, you should be getting nearly all A's in school, so your unweighted GPA is close to a 4.0. You should also submit standardized testing, and your goal should be to score better than or equal to a 35 on the ACT or a 1550 on the SAT. These scores are nearly perfect, but don't despair if you don't meet those targets. The data shows that students with slightly lower scores can get into Wellesley too. If you're a junior or younger, there are multiple things you can do now to improve your chances of getting into Wellesley. Let's cover four ways you can prepare academically. Wellesley is a liberal arts college, which means they want their graduates to have a broad array of study. This is reflected in the variety of classes that the school is looking for on an applicant's transfer transcript with a heavy emphasis on social studies, not shared by many other schools. However, the school's website does note that there are often exceptions to this, and we will consider an applicant whose educational background varies from this description. As mentioned earlier, most students admitted to Wellesley were in the top 10% of their high school class, and almost every student was in the top 20%. Beyond your grades, it also means you should be taking challenging classes. If available AP or 
or IB classes are the best, followed by dual enrollment at a local community college. Next, one of the best ways to get a great ACT or SAT score is to start studying early. Starting by taking an official ACT or SAT as early as your sophomore year. Use this exam as your baseline to target your areas of weakness through an organized study plan. I recommend repeating this as often as you need to. Alternatively, you can consider working with a tutor like me, particularly if you're trying to raise your score just a little bit extra. Last, Wellesley College requires two letters of recommendation from teachers. As you decide who to ask, keep in mind the classes that the school looks for on student transcripts. I recommend that at least one of the teachers you ask can speak to your ability to write clearly and thoughtfully. If Wellesley College is your dream school, you should think about applying to them via an early decision plan. This means if you are accepted, you must withdraw any other applications and enroll at Wellesley. For that reason, you should only apply early if you're certain that Wellesley is your top choice. Wellesley typically accepts about 40% of early decision applicants, more than double the overall acceptance rate. According to Wellesley, it is true that a slightly higher percentage of applicants who apply early decision get in. But that's not because there are different standards for those applicants. It's simply because early decision applicants tend to be a pool of highly qualified students who are certain that Wellesley is a good fit for them. And they are often right. While the first early decision deadline was in November, early decision two is in January along with their regular decision deadline. If you're worried about remembering to submit your application to Wellesley College on time, check out Organize You. The software will allow you to add the deadlines to your Google Calendar or iCal so you have plenty of reminders. Overall, Wellesley is a very selective university, so you'll need to demonstrate more than just strong academic ability to be competitive for admission. While you should aim for an unweighted GPA of around 4.0, an ACT score of 35, or an SAT score of 1550, you'll also need an outstanding essay. If you're interested in learning more about colleges, majors, and careers, click here to subscribe. I hope to see you for part two in this mini series on Wellesley College. We're going to be looking at cultural fit next time. Until then, what got you interested in attending Wellesley? Let me know in the comments. See you next time. If you liked this video, check out these other videos done by myself and other members of the transition team. As always, thanks for watching.